Kotobi Manta sa 18, no? So, we're all are excited for the um, Christmas and semester break, no? Giusara siya. We will come back on January 10. And don't worry, you no, know, you can still enroll until January 8, no? So, January 4 to 8, open naman ang office, Anna, no? If ever you cannot enroll this December. So, or na siya no for the second sem. Okay, so Sally, you may now start with your reporting, Dai. Okay, Dam. Pakala, isyo siya yung PowerPoint. <laughs> Wala, ni nagkadimao, Dam. So, it's ano. Up yung Egypt, sa imuhang ko ano. Yes, Dam. Sige, sige. Northern Africa. So, the countries in Northern Africa are Algeria, Canary Islands, Ciota, Egypt, Libya, Madeira, Malaya, Morocco, Sudan, Tunisia, and Western Sahara. Algeria. So, this is the flag of Algeria. The capital of Algeria is El, El Zaire. Language is Arabic. Currency is Algerian dinar, which is converted to 0.36 pesos, a uh, Philippine peso. Then their religion is Islam. So history, history, language, customs, and an Islamic heritage make Algeria an integral part of the Maghreb and the larger Arab world. But the country also has a sizable Amazigh population with li links to that cultural traditions. Once the bread basket of the Roman Empire, the territory now comprising Algeria was ruled by various Arab Amazigh dynasties from the eighth from the eighth to the sixteenth century when it became part of the Ottoman Empire. The decline of the Ottomans was followed by a brief period of independence that ended when France launched a war of conquest in 1813. So by 1847, the French had largely suppressed Algerian resistance to the invasion and the following year made Algeria a department of France. French colonies modernized Algeria's agricultural and commercial economy but lived apart from the Algerian majority, enjoying social and economic privileges extended to few non-Europeans, ethnic resentment fueled by revolutionary politics introduced by Algerians who had lived and studies in, studied in France, led to a widespread nationalist movement in the mid-20th century. A war of independence ensued na in the year 1954 to 1962. That was so fierce that the revolutionary friends, friends Fanon noted negotiations ended the conflict and led to Algerian independence, and most Europeans left the country, although the influence of the French language and culture in Algeria remains strong. Since independence, the country consistently has sought to regain its Arab and Islamic heritage. At the same time, the development of oil and natural gas and other mineral deposits in the Algerian interior brought new wealth to the country and prompted a modest rise in the standard of living. In the early 21st century, Algeria's economy was among the largest in Africa. One of their, uh, their tourist attractions are Ag Ahagar National Park in Atakor and Oran. The Canary Islands. So this is the flag of the Canary Island. The capital of Canary. So there are two capitals of Canary Island, namely Las Palmas and Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Tenerife. So duha yahang capital since before she na invades sa mga Spaniards kay koan to separate to separate islands gina ang Canary Island. Then their language is Spanish, their currency is Euro, which is 57.10 Philippine Peso. Their religion is Catholicism. So the original inhabitants of the Canaries 
were the Guanches, now assimilated into the general population. There were a Berber people who were conquered by the Spanish in the 15th century. The Romans learned of the Can Canaries through Juba II, king of Mar Mauritania, whose account of an expedition to the islands was preserved by the writers Plutarch and Pliny the Elder. The latter mentions Canaria so-called from the multitude of dogs of great size. In 999, the Arabs landed and tra traded on Gran Canaria during the 13th and 14th centuries. Genoese, Mar Mo Mahorcan, Portuguese, and French navigators visited the islands. Jean de Bethencourt, who became king of the islands by order of Henry III of Castile in 1404, completed the conquest of Lanzarote. Forteventura and Ferrero, and in December 1406, he returned to Europe, leaving his nephew Machot in charge. Between 1420 and 1479, a Portuguese force subdued Gomera. In 1479, the Treaty of Alcacovas recognized Spanish sovereignty over the Canaries, and the conquest of the remaining islands was completed in 1496. Christopher Columbus replenished all four of his westbound fleets in the Canaries, which became an indispensable Spanish base on sea, sea routes to the Americas. In 1936, General Francisco Franco used the islands as the first base of the nationalist revolt going from there to Spanish Morocco. So, Kwan. Ang um, Canary Island kay known po ni siya as Island of Dogs. Then their tourist then their tourist spots are Tayden National Park, Tenerife, Tenerife, the and Timanfaya National Park, Lanzarote. Next is Ciota. Their flag. Then their language is Arabic, their currency is Euro, their religions are Christians and Islam. So, wala siya capital kay Murag City na, ah, city naman na siya daan. Theota, Spanish exclave, military post, and free port on the coast of Morocco. At the Mediterranean entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar, Theota is an autonomous city administered by Spain. Theota Melilla, also an exclave, and other tiny islets along the coast of North Africa constitute the territories of Spanish North Africa. The city is on a narrow isthmus that connects Mount Hachu to the mainland. So, on the summit of Mount Hachu is a fort used by the Spanish military. Successively colonized by Carthaginians, Greeks, and Romans, Theota became independent under the Byzantine government, Governor Count Julian. Because of Theota's commercial importance in ivory, gold, and slaves, it was continually disputed until Portugal gained control in the year 1415. The port passed to Spain in 1580 and was assigned to Spain in the Treaty of Lisbon in 1688. At the breakout of the Spanish Civil War in 1936, General Francisco Franco dispatched an expedition to Spain from Theota. In 1995, the Spanish government approved statu statutes of autonomy for Theota, replacing the city council with an assembly similar to those of Spain's other autonomous communities. Five centuries of Spanish Christian occupation have given the place of European rather than Moorish appearance. Lying south of the East Moss, the port consists of a small bay enclosed by two breakwaters. With the construction of modern port facilities, Theota grew as a military transport and commercial center. Theota is surrounded by a double fence with barbed wire to secure its border. In 2006, the fence was raised and Theota's Military personnel and number of weapons were increased. Even so, 
thousands of emigrants, mainly African refugees, unsuccessfully try to cross the border every year. Their tourist attractions are El Cajon Conjunto Monument, Al de las Morayas Reales, and Casa de los Dragones. Next is Egypt. Egypt. Their flag, their capital is Cairo. Their language is modern standard Arabic, currency Egyptian pound, religion Islam. Civilization in northeastern Africa that dates from the 4th millennium BCE, its many achievements preserved in its arts and monuments, hold a fascination that continues to grow as archaeological finds expose its secrets. This article focuses on Egypt from its prehistory through its un unification under Men Menes Narmer in the 3rd millennium BCE sometimes used as a reference point for Egypt's origin and up to the Islamic conquest in the 7th century CE for subsequent history through the contemporary period. Ancient Egypt can be thought of as an oasis in the desert of northern northeastern Africa. Dependent on the annual inundation of the Nile River to support its agricultural population, the country's chief wealth came from the fertile flood plain, plain of the Nile Valley, where the river flows between bands of limestone hills and the Nile Delta, in which it fans into several branches north of present-day Cairo. Between, between the flood plain and the hills is a variable band of low desert that supported a certain amount of game. The Nile was Egypt's sole transportation artery. Their tourist attractions are Pyramid, Pyramids of Giza and Luxor's Karnak Temple and the Valley of the Kings. Gafalo Ramu, guys. Yes, Dai. Please continue. Abi na ko nawala dam. Okay, Dai. Next is Libya. Their national flag. Their capital is Tripoli, language is Arabic, currency is Libyan dinar, religion is Islam. So Libya comprises three historical regions, the Tripolitania in the northwest, Cyrenaica in the east, and Fezzan in the southwest. The Ottoman authorities recognized them as separate provinces under Italian rule. They were unified to form a single colony which gave way to independent Libya. For much of Libya's early history, both Tripolitania and Cyrenaica were most closely linked with neighboring territories than with one another. Before the discovery of, of oil in the late 1950s, Libya was considered poor in natural resources and severely limited by its desert environment. The country was almost entirely in the entirely dependent upon foreign aid and imports for the maintenance of its economy. The discovery of petroleum dramatically changed this situation. The government along exerted strong control over the economy and attempted to develop agricultural and industry with wealth derived from its huge oil revenues. It also established a welfare state which provides medical care and education to, at minimal cost to the people. Although Libya's long ruling leader, Muammar al Qaddafi, exposed an idiosyncratic political ideology rooted in social economic egalitarianism and direct democracy. Libya, in practice, remained an authoritarian state with power concentrated among members of Qaddafi's inner circle of relatives and security chiefs. Opposition to the Quad to the Qaddafi regime reached an unprecedented level in 2011, developing into an armed revolt that forced Qaddafi from power. The, their tourist attractions are Tripoli and the Leptis Magna. Next is Madeira. The capital of Madeira is Funchal, 
Their language is Portuguese, currency is Euro, religion is Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. The origins of Madeira Island history date back to the Miocene period about 5 million years ago when volcanic explosions occurred in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean. Successive eruptions deposited lava layers, ash, and rocks that eventually emerged, forming a series of islands. Madeira Island, the largest and most populated tens of kilometers northeast and Porto Santo Island. The other inhabited island to east, small and uninhabited desertas islands, and 250 km kilometers south of Funchal, the Selvagens Island, now classified as nature reserves. The archipelago was an inhabited until 1419 when Portuguese navigator João Goncalves Zarco landed in Madeira. However, Greeks, Romans, Phoenicians, and Arabs surely would pass by Madeira during his expedition across the North Atlantic. The, their tourist attractions are Ponta de Sao Lorenco and Sao Vicenta Caves. Next is Malaya. Their national flag. Their language is Spanish, currency is Euro, and religion is Islam. So, like the Theota, kay, wala siya capital since autonomous city po siya sa Spain. The Malaya was founded by the Phoenicians with the name of Rosader after the Punic Wars. The Romans occupied the city. They were followed by the Vandals, the Vi Byzantines, Visigoth, and then the Arabs. In 1497, the city was conquered by Pedro de Estopinian Verius, who worked for the Duke of Medina Sidonia, Juan Al Alonso Perez de Guzman, known as Guzman al Bueno. The fortress of Malaya was improved and remodeled many times since the Arabs. All the new technology of fortresses were inco incorporated during the remodeling. The fortress became famous for being able to resist sages. There, were, there was a sage in 1774 where 3,000 defenders in the city were able to resist the sage of 40,000 men of the Sultan Malay Abdallah. The Arabs outside the city are reef Berbers and there has always been trouble with them. In 1862, the city limits were defined by how far a cannonball could travel when shot from the cannon called El, Caman uh, El Caminante. The Spanish were smart and put the cannon at the highest point of the fortress before firing it. The resultant limit was recognized by Morocco at that time. Malaya La Vieja is the name of the fortress and its surrounding area. This was named an artistic historic site in 1953. Malaya has a current problem of illegal immigration because thousands of Africans tried to reach Europe by trying to scale a fence around the city, which is protected by the army. The Spanish army has a large contingent stationed in the city because this city is considered the frontier of Spain. This city was Spanish since 1497, long before the surrounding area became part of Morocco or before the state of Morocco was created. Spanish Spain was rejected all demands from Morocco to acquire it. Malaya is famous for being a city where four cultures get along very well. Besides the Christians, there are Muslims, Jews, and Hindus who live in the city peacefully. When walking in the city, one can see people who are mixtures of these races and everyone enjoys the festival of each ethnic community. Their tourist attractions are Malaya La Vieja. So, maoni siya ang katong fortress. And... Ciudad de Autonoma de Malaya, Morocco, their national flag. The capital of Morocco is Rabat. And wait, Morocco is, uh, was called Marrakesh before. And their language is Arabic, currency Morocco dirham, which is 5.48 peso. 
and their religion is Islam. So their history is situated in the northwest corner of Africa and on a clear day, visible from the Spanish coast, Morocco has resisted outside invasion while serving as a meeting point for European, Eastern, and African civilizations throughout the history. Many of its early inhabitants, the Ima- Imazighen, had adopted Christianity or Judaism, which were introduced during a brief period of Roman rule. In the late 7th century, Arab invaders from the east brought Islam, which the Imazighen gradually assimilated. Sunni Islam triumphed over various sectarian tendencies in the 12th and 13th century under the doctrinal Lirigoros Almohad dynasty. The Christian recon- reconquest of Spain in the later Middle Ages brought waves of Muslim and Jewish exiles from Spain to Morocco, injecting a Hispanic flavor into Moroccan urban life. Apart from some isolated coastal enclaves, However, Europeans failed to establish a permanent foothold in the area. In the 16th century, Ottoman invaders from Algeria attempted to add Morocco to their empire, thus threatening the country's independence. They too were thwarted, leaving Morocco virtually the only Arab country never to experience Ottoman rule. In 1578, three kings fought and died near Sar el Kebir or Alcazar Kiver, including the Portuguese monarch Sebastian. This decisive battle, known as the Battle of the Three Kings, was claimed as a Moroccan victory and put an end to European incursions onto Moroccan soil for three centuries. The seventh century saw the rise of the Alawit dynasty of Sharifs who, who still rule Morocco today. This dynasty is fostered trade and cultural relations with sub-Saharan African, Europe, and the other Arab lands to religious tensions between Islam and Christendom often threatened the peace. By the late 17th century, Morocco's cultural and political identity as an Islamic monarchy was firmly established. The figure of the strong sultan was personified by Maulai, Ismael, in the year 1672 to 1727, who used a slave army known as the Abid al-Bukhari to subdue all parts of the country and establish centralized rule. Subsequent monarchs often used their prestige as religious leaders to contain internal conflicts caused by competition among tribes. In the late 18th, 18th and early 19th century, when Europe when Europe was preoccupied with revolution and continental war, Morocco withdrew into a period of isolation. On the eve of the modern era, despite their geographic proximity, Moroccans and Europeans knew little about each other. The capi- uh, their tourist attractions are Chef Shawen and Marrakesh Medina. Next is Sudan. The capital of Sudan is Khartoum, language Arabic, currency is Sudanese pound, which is 0.12 Philippine peso, and the religion is Islam. The earliest inhabitants of what is now Sudan can be traced to African peoples who live in the vicinity of Khartoum in Mesolithic times. There were hunters and gatherers who made pottery and objects of ground sandstone. Toward the end of the ne- Neolithic period, they had domesticated animals. These Africans were clearly in contact with pre-dynastic civilizations to the north in Egypt, but the arid uplands separating Egypt from Nubia appeared to have discouraged the pre-dynastic Egyptians from settling there. So, their tourist attractions are Suakin and Khartoum. Tunisia, the Tunisian flag, their capital is Tunis, language is Arabic, currency Tunisian dinar, which is 17.53 Philippine peso, and the religion is Islam. Tunisia was called Ephrikia in the early centuries of the Islamic period. 
that name in turn comes from the Roman word for Africa and the name also give also given by the Romans to their first African colony following the Punic Wars against the Carthaginians in 264 to 146 BCE. Following the decline of Rome, the region was ruled, ruled brief, briefly by the Vandals and then the Byzantine Empire before being conquered by the Arabs in 647 CE. Although the Arabs initially unified North Africa, by 1230, a separate Tunisian dynasty had been established by the half seeds Muslim Andalusians migrated to the area after being forced after having been forced out of Spain during the Reconquesta, particularly following the defeat of the Muslim Kingdom of Granada in 1492 by, the 50, by 1574. Tunisia was incorporated into, into the Ottoman Empire, whose control of the region always ten, tenuous had all but dissolved by the 19th century. Their tourist attractions are Jerba and El Gem Amphitheater. So, mura po siya katong sa Coliseum somewhere sa Europe. Then, Western Sahara. Western Sahara nas National Flag. Then their capital is Layu Layuni, language Arabic, currency Mauritanian Ogia, which is 1.39 Philippine peso, and their religion is Islam. So little is known of the prehistory of Western Sahara, although Neolithic rock engravings in Sagia El Hamra and in isolated locations in the south suggest that it was occupied by, by a succession of hunting and pastoral groups, with some agriculture, agriculturists in favored localists prior to a gradual process of desertification that began about 2500 BCE by the 4th century BCE. There was trade between Western Sahara and Europe across the Mediterranean, the Phoenicians sailed along the west coast of Africa in this period. The Romans also had some contact with the Saharan peoples by medieval times. This part of the Sahara was occupied by Sanhaja Amaze, peoples who were later dominated by, the, by Arabic-speaking Muslims, Bedouins, from about 1000 CE. So the tourist attractions are Dakla and Cape Bohador. So that's all. Yes, Dai. Dana Dam. Okay. So, well, no, you were able to <clears throat> wrap up everything in just thirty minutes. Very good. Um, as you've already observed, no, most of the countries in North. Africa are very Mediterranean. You have Morocco, for example, no, and even their architecture, katong ilahang mga fortresses are very, like very distinct of of Mediterranean countries. Now, when we talk about Mediterranean countries, these are countries that have, um, what they call this? climate. I don't call this tropical. Masag, masag another mag derivative in a tropical, but delicious pares like what you you see in like Hawaii and all, but it has a far more different climate if you compare it to <clears throat> um, in Middle Africa, in, in South Africa. No? So they have a very Mediterranean feel and most of them are a mix of, of both like Spanish culture and Muslim. No, You have countries like Morocco that, that is very... You know, um, um, no, actually, mga night markets very similar to Turkey, which are very Islamic, no, and ang ilang culture is a mix of of Muslim, no, and na po ibang countries in North Africa nga very evident of Spaniard um culture because if you can still remember what I have mentioned um in my previous discussion no, last week nga we're in since um the continent of Africa is quite close to Europe class and Europe you know when when they were over with the dark ages were over the plague and all and they were planning to expand no uh, and to colonize no they went directly to Africa knowing that they have a lot of resources there and also no mga tapog pag ubos sa 
um, Constantinople, no, di naman sila kaagi dito, no, because there was a war sa mga Muslims and Christians and mostly Europeans or Christians man, that's why they went to Africa. And the North Africa actually is very rich in trade. Kay duol jug kayo sila, no, um, sa Europe. And it has an easy access also to the other seas, no, nga connecting different continents. So, uh, mauna, no, dili kayo distinct ang African culture nila nga, what we usually expect, no, if nakabantay mo, very Mediterranean ang feel nila, very Islam and and Hispanic nga mix. So, thank you so much, Sally, for wrapping up your report, no, in just 30 minutes. Um, I would like to... I think have an activity, but I did not really expect. Supposedly, this will be on Wednesday. By the way, before I'm still preparing the video activity that I'll be showing to you. Um, I will have to check if Wednesday wala tay classy. Kay that will be December eight. Um, I don't know if. Koan ba? Um, non-working holiday ba na siya? But we will just... Non-working siya da. Oh, oh, oh. so... Wala tay koan. Tay class, Anna. So, dili ka report si... Next reporter is ano, diba? Si Dos Dos. So, I think Dos Dos will just report on Monday. Let me share my screen para ma... Kita niyo calendar. Dos Dos ba mo report on Wednesday? Or C K. Okay, I think mag mag ano man sila. Eh, dos dos ikaw ang mo report on. Yes, the uh, December eight. Oh oh, niya mag non working holiday Monday ay should die. So we will be moving your report on Monday next week. That will be December thirteen. So K will just have kindly inform K. Uh, she will just have a recording just like Ilha Ka Angel, no? So, December 8th, that's Wednesday. Um, That's a non-working holiday. So, pero ako wait lang. Pero sa Monday, dam ako dam. Mukuan ko yes. dam. Yes, dahi. Mo, dam. yes, dahi. December 13th. Um, may andam lang daan, no? In kaso nga, something will transpire on that day, sad, no? We do not know. So, andam lang siya daan. Okay? So, maura na siya. Okay, dam. Anyway, the coverage for the finals exam will be the continent of Africa. Um, I will be asking some questions lang po, no, sa goal sa, kay usually naanad man tanga, countries and ano ra, but I will also be asking some questions. Again, please, I wasn't able to do that midterm because late na ko nakakollect sa oban nga mga PowerPoint. So please, Sally, right after this one, kindly upload the PowerPoint in our, uh, in our Google Classroom. Or just send it in our GC na lang para ma-download si mga classmates, no? Kaya we need that also as a lahang basis for the finals exam. Ha? Saan lang hey, ang don't final? Hey, Dom, pwede. Kung ang mga hapon dang kay Hinay, abi kay ang connection dong ba niya? Need pa na ko siya ikuan sa drive. Ah, sige, pwede ra. Sa ano na lang hapon. Basta, bilik lang nga to. Paabtunog ka ng um, next week, no? Para at least makakuan pa. Okay, Magkataon pa ang uban. Ito ko'y activity. Need pa to ang report of Stockdam? Um, no need na siguro. Ang PowerPoint na lang. Okay, dam. Para sa inyong koan. I wasn't able to prepare. Wait na for a while, ah. Masyag kadali kay ang... Uh, 
Okay, so before the end, I'll just let you watch this. No, we can't have a quiz without you knowing um, where are the different countries of Africa. So we will just watch at least for you to be able to also locate where are the different countries in Africa. There are a lot of countries in Africa. No? It's one of the biggest continents next to Asia. So at least we know where to find each country. Let, let's just watch this video. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go I'm just gonna share it tab. Oh, anyway, this is a five minute video, Roman. Igor rapod nga mag Spanish. <laughs> okay. Okay, so these are different countries of Africa, and we're going to learn where, where they are located. In the map, no, and then you longer to mag quiz the next lang a report. Think kung wala jay classy ang. We are the countries of Africa, the planet's second largest continent, right after Asia. We are the countries of Africa. There are 54 countries presently that we after Asia. We are the. Countries of Africa. There are 54 countries presently that we. My name's Algeria, my capital is Algiers I'm Angola, Luanda's been my capital for years Benin is my name, my capital's Porto Novo Botswana's my name, Cameroon is my capital I'm Burkina Faso, oh I get a goose, my capital My name's Burundi, Bujumbura's my capital Cape Verde's my name, my capital Central African Republic, my capital Bungi is what you saw. I am Chad, my capital's New Germina. I'm Comoros, Maroni's my capital, yeah. I'm the Democratic Republic of Congo, capital's Kinshasa. I'm the Republic of the Congo, Brazzaville's my capital. Cote d'Ivoire is my name, capital's Yamosuko. I'm Djibouti and my capital's Djibouti City. My name is Gambia, my capital is Bonjour. I'm gonna my capital, Lagra is really cool. Guinea's my name, gonna is my capital. I'm Guinea Bissau, Bissau's my capital. My name is Kenya, my capital's Nairobi. I'm the Soto, my capital, Masaru's the place to be. Hi, I'm like My capital's Port Louis, how's that? I am Morocco, my capital's name is Rabat Mozambique is my name, my capital is Maputo I am 
Namibia When hooks my capital Niger is my name My capital is Nyame I am Nigeria My capital's Abuja Here to stay I'm Rwanda, it's me My capital is Kigali Namsa to me in prison Thanks for watching Kids Learning Tube. Please subscribe below and join us next week. To okay, so those are the different countries in Africa. No? So hopefully you still have time on mon on Monday after the reporting. You'll just delete my read that. No, we will know if you know where the countries are. So just kindly familiarize the map. No, so so that you'll be able to know which country they are from. Anyway, I'll just show you a picture later on, no, with a sample. Asa na siya nga map, no, kay para at least makabalo mo where to locate these different countries. Um, you're going to have an activity right after the reporting of dos dos, no. Okay, so magsalin lang man ang nabilin o sa. Um, again, no, we will just we were able to meet last Friday because there was um there was um a mass, so. <clears throat> Hopefully this Friday wala na today. Pag matunong jud lagi. Premiere matunong ang Friday. I will try to have a recording for our last discussion which are quality service no. Wa gyud natunaw man ang tourism products. Um Premiere jud to wala class sa Friday. I have an oral defense no mo sit in ko as panel on Friday but I will have a recording. So I have a last discussion lang before the finals exam. Kay murag ang luoy kay permi ba sacrifice ka klase is ang um, quality service management. No every Friday mabutang timing nga na ay mas ni activity and timing pud sa Friday karon di ay I forgot to mention this coming Friday I have an oral defense ng sit in ko as panel. So mag recording na lang ko ana day ha par na amoy tan awon ha mo mo ban mo lantaw ko na mabalan man ako na kung tanan jud mo galantaw sa katong recording akong i-post sa YouTube so okay da okay so that's it for now um just get ready for your next class um for for world geography mo or man will have a bit of an activity if you still have the time on Monday after sa reporting and those those and then a coverage for the exam will be the whole continent of Africa. There will also be some questions related to the continent, maybe in general. But I did already have a discussion about the general like geography of Africa. I will get some questions there. And then from your reporting, I would also like ask the capital city um, and the same tourist destination lang for each and then the country you know, in the continent of Africa. That's it, no? More man na for finals. For quality service, I will get some of my questions in commitment. Um, there is in products and quality service. I wasn't able to finish, no? Kan laging mag, malimot ko ba nga, na ko iti wasunun nga klase mo, ambak din ko sa next nga bago nga lesson, no? So, tara kumukuha sa obang questions dito. I'll just upload everything on our Google Classroom. So, medyo na, na preoccupied ako sa dagang activities current sa tourism management. Hopefully, 
um, sa kansam no maka ginawa ginawa na ta no so that would be it no um next semester we won't be having like a lot of webinars lang but we will be having um skills olympics no hopefully everyone can join no not just selected students okay so that's it for now um let us end our class with a prayer in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners